So it's been about seven months since Apple first announced the Vision Pro at WWDC. Now it's about early February and it's finally shipping. I've been super excited to try this out since I first saw it announced. And now I'm about to go pick mine up and you know, test out pretty much everything that I can think of. The box for this thing is massive. Like it's definitely an experience. When you open it up, you immediately see the Vision Pro. Uh, but I'm just gonna put that to the side and get to everything else first. The bottom section here has a polishing cloth that says Vision Pro on it. I actually like it a lot more than the one they released to the studio display. Uh, it's thinner and it just feels like it cleans better and it's easier to use. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this around for cleaning the fingerprint magnet of the front. Under that is a thicker light seal if you need it. Um, the Vision Pro has the thinner one installed by default. And in the top section, there's a big booklet that walks you through the Vision Pro, which is actually really cool, kind of like the one that comes to the Apple Watch Ultra. But you also have the dual loop band, which I've heard distributes the weight a lot better on your head. So I'll definitely be comparing that to the solo band, which is like the default one that looks really cool and is in like all the marketing. There's also a braided USB-C cable, a 30 watt charger, and the battery pack, which feels pretty heavy. So I guess that's why it's separated to keep that extra weight off your head too. But getting back to the Vision Pro, this thing like feels solid and it honestly feels like a lot of thought went into like every small detail of it. They even added a cover that goes over the front glass to keep it protected when you're not using it and to make an attempt at keeping the fingerprints to minimal. So I set this up and I spent a few hours getting familiar with it and I think my main takeaway is that it's a really well designed like really, really good product. Like I've tried a lot of AR and VR headsets and this definitely feels like the best one given all of the technologies that currently exist. The aluminum chassis has intake and vents for the fans, which I haven't actually been able to hear yet, but it has gotten a little warm when I grab it from the front after like a long session of using it, uh, which is also covered in a solid piece of glass that has a ton of cameras and sensors that are just visible under it, which is really cool to see just how many sensors go into creating an experience like this. Also in the middle of this piece of glass is the outer display, which is actually underneath a lenticular lens. So it looks like the eyesight is kind of inside the headset where your eyes would be. And it's definitely an interesting feature. So during the setup process, it pulls your eyes from a full 3D model and generates it from your head, which is your persona. But it's understandably still in beta and I can kind of see how this will get better over time with software updates. And the rest of the setup process is relatively easy. You just bring your iPhone near it like most other Apple devices and it'll automatically set up your Apple ID and any other information to the Vision Pro. And then to set up the inputs, which is your hand and your eye tracking, it actually scans the front and back of your hand so it can get the measurements for really precise control. And once you have that set up, you go around and look at this like eye doctor looking thing. So you look at dots and you pinch to select so it can calibrate the eye tracking to your eyes. And it immediately felt super intuitive to just look at something and then pinch to like select it, click on it. Um, but after I used it for a bit, I did notice that it is super intuitive, but I also feel like my eyes would look at something. Then as I'd pinch to select that thing, I'd start to look at the next thing, which would then end up being selected instead of what I originally wanted to. This is really noticeable in the keyboard, specifically at least for me, because I'd select the first letter and then I'd immediately start looking at the next letter, which would then get selected instead of the original letter that I wanted. I want to test this out more to see if it's like my initial excitement and my eyes just kind of darting around to really test out the eye tracking or if it's just how I interact with the device and like the way that my brain works with looking at something and immediately looking at the next thing. Also, just from some like quick testing, I prefer the solo band over the dual loop. And I know they say like the dual loop helps distribute the weight better on your head. But for me, I just found it more uncomfortable with my hair. I think just, you know, in general, I don't like straps that go over the top of my head just for comfort and like squeezing from the side of my head. But I'll like try this out more and see if like my opinion changes as I, you know, get it better adjusted or just use it more. The pass is also like pretty good. Like it's the best that I've seen, you know? I wouldn't say it's the same as like looking outside at the real world, but it is close. And like my personal benchmark for this is pulling up my phone and seeing if I can like actually use it and you know, type, read text. And that was, I was able to do that just fine. It does get a little noisy when it's darker. Um, you know, it's been raining and cloudy, so I haven't tried it out in the full like daylight yet. So I just ended up looking right into my video light to just stress it. And you can see just how fast it's adjusting the exposure on the fly as you look around, which is just really impressive given how much computation they're doing and for how like pretty much real time the experience is. I'm really interested in trying this out on the plane. Since it's usually a darker environment, so I wanna see the pass through quality there. Uh, but also just like, what's this general experience like on a plane, given you're sitting there for a few hours, 
It's kind of the ideal scenario to have a bunch of screens in front of you just putter in space. I do have some travel coming up, so I'm excited to like actually put this to use. So Vision OS is based on iPad OS, which I'm sure helped Apple get like a head start on refining it for spatial rather than starting from the ground up to build an entire operating system based around this new concept. And all the apps, like even the ones that are just straight up iPad apps running in Windows, like feel pretty complete. Like granted, there's some disparity between a spatial app having nice eye targets for you to look at versus an iPad app, which has smaller controls that might be harder to really get with the eye tracking, if that makes it. You have to try it to understand, but sometimes the smaller buttons in iPad apps are just harder to hard, harder to like select with the eye tracking. So far, some things that really stood out to me are watching videos like the Apple TV and Disney Plus stuff, going through photos, especially spatial ones, looking at models in Jigsaw, which is really interesting to see the scale of things and projecting my MacBook screen into the headset. And they all, you know, like you'd expect, they just work. Photos and videos are really immersive. So you can like make the screen as big as you want. And looking at an F1 car in your room is just wild and brings a sense of scale to it. And you can even like take individual parts off of it and like look at them in depth. Also just being able to look at your MacBook and hitting a button above it that like pops up to connect is like a real like a real AR experience. A lot of stuff on here and in other headsets has really been like what I consider more mixed reality, where you have virtual content floating around you in your actual space. But true AR is when that virtual content interacts with the real things in your space. And I'll get into this more in the full review, but I think it's gonna be an important part, at least for me, of for spatial computing. Overall though, after the first few hours, I'm really enjoying using the Vision Pro. Uh, I'm excited to see how I can integrate it into my workflow and just what other apps will come out over time that really take advantage of spatial computing. But thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos about tech, cameras, and making. Here's a video about a Lego keyboard that I made, and here's a video that YouTube thinks are gonna like the best.